We can set the height of an input by adding classes to our input. To change from the default height to a large height, create an input large class. And we can do that in our input. So this entire block right here pertains to this input. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an input L-LG class. And you can see that it increases the size of the input. To reduce the size, change it to input small. And you can see that its height has decreased. We can do the same to a select menu, but we'd have to add it to the select element. And inside the select element, we have a class. In addition to the form control class, add input LG. And you can see it's larger or input small. And it's smaller. Now, when working with horizontal forms, the large height can be set by adding the form group large class to the main div element. So this is our the main div element that contains this input. And you can see that we've added the form group large class. And everything else should look familiar from our last couple of lessons. Okay, it's just a basic input in a horizontal form format. Now the second div here contains this, this input, the small one. And to do that, we've just added a class called form group small. To increase or decrease the width of an input, we can place the input in a column. As shown in this example, we have three inputs, each in a column with a different size. So here's one div element, and that contains this input. The second div element contains this input, and the third contains this input. You can see that each div element has a different class. This one has column extra small 2. So this input spans across two extra small columns in the bootstrap grid layout. This one spans across three extra small columns and this one spans across four extra small columns. So if we were to increase this value to say six and save the file, you can see that it becomes wider. 